Good evening. My name is Uriah. What's your name? Chavel. Okay. Good evening, Chavel. Now, you, you believe in God and you love God, right? So, should we do according to what the Bible says? You sure? You believe that? Huh? 50 50, you are not, you can so so. Huh? You're not too sure? Why? Why? Why the uncertainty? Because the Bible is God's word, right? Right. So, should, should, if we believe in God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. So, all right. You go to school, right? You look like a smart girl. So, you, you, you read a lot, a lot of books, right? So name me one, sis, 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 come on, focus, sis, don't get distracted. So name me one of the books where you read, where on a man writing. So, so, hold on, sis, look, look, sis, come on, suck it down, suck it down, sis, pay attention, pay attention. Sis, pay, pay, pay attention. So if a man write all of them, right, what is so different with the Bible? That you have 50-50, because based on how we live our lives, it's based on what we were taught in school and in colleges, right? So then if we believe those books that a certain man write that is not inspired of God, right? And we live our life fully believing in those, acting based on everything that is written in them. Then why shouldn't we do according to what God's word says? Why should we be 50-50, not certain? Yeah, yeah, but guess what this? You are just one example of the bulk of our people. You understand? But, but watch this. We have something for you. Listen to this, sis. Listen to this. Read. Because you can Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So the Bible is faithful and true. Right, sis? It's faithful and true. So now look, look here. What's your nationality? You are a Jamaican, right? Look, look at this sign. Can you find Jamaican in the Bible? So, so God created us all, right? So, isn't it factual that God would name us? Is this? Is this? God would name us. So what is the name that God given to us? Look on this sign and see where you would identify yourself. Be Benjamin, right? West Indian black. Hey sis, I see you, 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 you are afraid of standing out. But it's either you stand out here or you stand out before the Mosa in judgment with the angels and everyone that you will be judged before. So don't be afraid to be standing. And I see you kind of fidgeting and you want to move. But don't be afraid of standing out. What? This is the most valuable time you're going to spend in your whole life. All right? Learning about God. Learning the errors of our ways and repenting all right so don't 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 be in a rush because trust me the knowledge you're getting is very important so right sis so benjamin this is what you find in the bible these are what we were renamed in slavery all of this that happened to us so now this name is in the bible this is not but what nation do we come from Huh? Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So, slavery happened to us, right? Our ancestors was brought over here, oh. Huh? It says, Mommy has a ship, right? Is that written in the Bible? You, 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 you said no. What I said, Mommy, do you, do, do you believe that is written in the Bible? That we are, our ancestors was brought into slavery and ships. No, you said no. Give me that. You turn them one on one, then we jump down. We're going to show you something in the Bible. Since we're going to show you your history in the Bible. Right? Deuteronomy one on one. Let's see who God is talking to. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. And to who? All Israel. And to who? All Israel. So Moses is talking to my sisters. Do you tell me 28? Moses is talking to all Israel. 15. 28, 15. So guess what? There are events that happen that cause this. 
and we're going to show you. We're going to get synopsis real quick from the Bible. Read. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So guess what happened now? Curses, are they good things or bad things? Bad, right? You say bad. Both of you say bad. So God says the Israelites, curses is going to come upon them. Bad things are going to come upon them if they do not do what? Keep. Yeah. Right. The laws and statutes. Commandments, right? Now jump down to 68. Deuteronomy 28, 68. So God is talking to who again? Israelites. The Israelites. And our ancestors came here how, 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 how again? By ships. So uh, let's see. Read. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Bible says, Deuteron you, you have that? Deuteronomy, right? God says, you're going to carry the Israelites into Egypt again. Right? Because remember, this is when Moses is in the wilderness. Just take Israel, Israel out, out of Egypt. What were they doing in Egypt? What condition were, were the Israelites on? Exactly, they were slaves. So God says, I'm going to put you back into that condition. But this time, let's see. Let's see what Egypt is. Let's see what Egypt is, sis. Read. Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, right? Let's see what Egypt is. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? House of bondage. Out of the what? House of bondage. Bondage. What is the next word for bandage? Slavery. Deuteronomy 28, 68 again. So remember, God is talking to the Israelites. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Shall bring the Israelites into Egypt into what, what Egypt is? What, what Egypt is? We just read it a while ago. Bandage. Another word for bandage is what? Slavery. Read it again. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring you, the Israelites, into slavery again. But guess, guess oh, how was our, our ancestors brought here again? Ships, right? Read. With sheep. With what? With sheep. With what? With sheep. <laughs> so then, if God says the Israelites will not go into slavery, and ships and it happened to us what does that make us what does that make us sis so the israelites was going to go into egypt into slavery again and ships right and that happened to us our people what does that make us so we are who that's what the Bible is saying. We are the Israelite the Bible speaks of. So them white people who say they are Jewish are Israeli. They are liars. We are the Jews. I'm, I'm going to prove it. If we finish this, I'm going to prove it. We're going to prove it that the Jews are black. From the Bible. You hear about that? Guess what it is? Stick around. We're going to prove it with the Bible. Read. By the way, the, we are full. I we are up, I speak unto you. So God says, see me where we to say what? That's exactly what's going to happen. Read. Thou shall see it no more again. And guess what? We never go back to our homeland. And guess what? The slavery that we were in, it's not going to happen again. That's right. Read. And there he shall be sold. Watch out. And there, when you come out for them slave ships there. Right here, so this was an auction block. And there he shall be sold. See the cage them over there. So they read unto who? Let's see if we're gonna say unto our friends. Because we love the white people them so much, right? Right? Read. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. No, unto our friends. Unto your enemies. No, bro, our neighbors. Unto your enemies. Who did God say we were sold to? Who were we sold to? Which is who? What race of people? Huh? That's right. 
So God says they are our enemies. Whether we want to believe it or not. God says they are our It's the same people, sis. The British, the French, all of them, they are the same people. God says they are our enemies. Not just them, the Chinese have us as slaves too. The East Indian, the Arabs, the Japanese, all nations, the Africans, because we are not Africans. You understand? So God said enemies, plural. Not just one nation, all the 17 nations. Yes, they did. So the Africans, which are the Amites, captured us, they and the Arabs, and sold us to the white man. Right. The so-called white man. Right? Read. And they shall be sold unto your enemies for bad men and bad women. Slave men, my sisters. He said for slave men and slave women. God, get, get your swap, sis. And the ships. Look, sis. And the ships, we were packed together. You, you, you ever hear a term pack like sardine? Where do you think that could come from? You know? From us. We were packed like sardines. We were chained down. We were stripped naked. Sisters, a month time, we don't have to do no monthly thing. That was done right there and everybody. You want to defecate? Done right there. You urinate? Done right there. Right. Millions of our, they said over a hundred million of our people died during the transatlantic slave trade alone. Right. And then the white man said, oh, six million Jews. Who oh, Jews are the Which one is greater? Six million or a hundred mi million? Hundred million. Right? So watch this. The, the action block. Watch this. Sisters and the action blocks, right? Being sold by the white man to a next white man. Exactly, sis. That's them making mockery of us. They're putting it in our face. Right? That, you, you, you finish? Read. And it shall be so, sold unto your enemies for bad men and bad women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. It's an old Quaker I mean. Look out there, sir. It's, it's statues them. Our ancestors was fighting like hell. They want to redeem their people. But guess what they did? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 